So I told my dad to be at the house at 7 o'clock. He decided to get here at 6.40. Guess what's going on? We're going on the boat. It's Saturday morning, and we're going to go for a little wake surfing boating adventure. You can see I actually got Brooks, the Bronco, the Raptor, Super Duty all wrapped with this like paint protection film. So it's now a matte finish basically. I'll show you a little bit more here. It's always the best and funnest part about owning a boat is getting the gas. Old gasoline and right now in Orlando the gas is four dollars and thirty nine cents for super premium. If you're gonna do it you might as well get the best. I do not understand is this new thing of like having rewards everywhere you go. Even 7-Eleven's got fucking rewards. And like you got a rewards? I'm like for 7-Eleven? But well, fucking like what 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 kind of rewards am I getting at 7 Eleven? Oh, if you buy one bottle of water, you get one 7 Eleven reward. Everybody got rewards, but no one be rewarding nobody with nothing good. I don't know. This whole reward thing is why well, I don't need no fucking 7 Eleven reward. Just give me my thing. Every time you go somewhere, you're like, oh, do you have a rewards? Go to Walgreens, got rewards? No. Just sell it to me. I don't want the fucking reward. I don't want the reward on the fucking water bottle. I just want to buy it. I want to get the fuck out of there. Not have to waste my time going through the menu clicking if I've got rewards or not. Hard to tell, but basically there's like a three mil, eight millimeter film, pa uh, paint protection film on the Super Duty here. And it's now matte finish. We're waiting on the uh, 10 inch lift kit and the 40 inch tires, the 24 inch wheels coming very soon i'm actually dropping it off at four wheel parts later on today it's time to go wake surfing the poor boat man it's i just feel bad because it sits out pretty much in the back or it sits at the marina and it's just it's uh, florida gets so hot and so so much sun so hot it just destroys everything i wish i had a carport or or a garage i wish i had a garage that it would fit in it'd be a lot nicer to be able to keep it inside i told my nana that we were gonna go on the boat this morning and she said well i want to go on the boat too so we got three generations we got me patrick wheeling we got andy wheeling and we got ruth dennison the matriarch the nana the nana i don't know whose hair is whiter nana or my hair Whoa, little little blonde, little yellow. I got Look that white hair yet. Flat this morning. Look at how beautiful the lake is. Wow, damn, she she's always pessimistic. I looked, no, I looked to see if it was gonna rain. You weren't gonna like come if it was gonna rain. Two or three o'clock. Oh well, we got plenty of time then. We're gonna get Nana wow. wake surfing. I'm gonna just jump in, and then you're gonna go. You ready? Go go go. Well, that was fucking hilarious. Having other people drive the boat is always fun. He literally floors it. Slow. Why? What are you? Who are you racing, bro? Come on. I wasn't very impressed. Definitely, but not like really. Good thing I'm a swimmer. All right, cracker boy, what you gonna do is you gonna get up. Look at the alligator behind you. Now we're gonna load up the boat, try to clean it up a little bit and go park it. Always fun getting out on the boat, having a little bit of family time, a little bit of fun time, a little bit of shred time. A little bit of shredding, a little bit of family, a little bit of everything, baby. It's Saturday. We're living the dream. Sun, because there's still a little bit of sparkle to it. Like a little bit of sparkle there. I don't know if you can see it, but a little bit of sparkle. This thing is going to look insane when we've got the 40-inch uh, tires, the 24-inch wheels. It's going to be massive. It's going to be huge. It's going to be massively huge. You got any uh, piece of advice today? People always love your advice on the internet. What you got the bird, today? The early bird gets the worm. There just ain't no market for the worm. Ooh, that's a 
philosophical. I think that has a that has a deeper meaning. How's work been? You get, did anybody contact you after the YouTube video? Nobody wanted to work on the roof? Uh, not yet, but uh, I'm, I'm, I've got the phones open <laughs> when it does. You, you're, you won't be you standing by waiting for that moment when somebody calls wanting to work on the roof. Absolutely. All right, so we just got down here to Four Wheel Parts in Orlando, Florida. We're dropping off the Super Duty here, getting ready for a big attitude adjustment. We're going for... 40 inch tires 24 inch wheels it's going high 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 so we're dropping the truck off and it might be like a week or two before it gets finished up and well we'll see how she looks and in a week i'll reveal it but we saw the wheels here at four parts i asked them when it might get done today is the 16th saturday and uh they say it's gonna get done by the end of next week i told them i believe it when i see it but we might be making another video next Saturday revealing the all new monster truck that is the F-250 on 40s. We'll find out. You sound like, you're, like your body. Your truck sounds like your body when you're in the gym working out. Bronco. So the Bronco here is also got this little uh, wrappy wrap on there as well. Just got this back from the shop the other day here got some new tires and some new wheels on there as well these are 37 13 fives on the bronco here with the icon coilovers and you can see and again you can kind of it has a little bit of sparkle to it but it's almost like that just matte satin finish and if you're wondering where the ford raptor is the raptor is also getting the same thing done to it so the raptor is getting all blacked out all the gray that's on the raptor is going to be blacked out and then it's going to be wrapped as well so a lot of stuff going on a lot of truck stuff happening right now and well i'm getting it all dialed in after this it's time for the yellow fin i've been trying to buy a boat been uh looking at a 36 foot yellow fin down in the keys i put an offer on it the seller accepted and well now it's just kind of doing due diligence and getting everything figured out. When you're buying that big of a boat, it definitely takes a little bit more time and effort and you definitely don't want to rush it. So getting it all figured out still, but it's looking pretty good and hopefully we'll have that dialed in. And also other news is I got a new place in Pompano as well. Pompano down by like Lighthouse Point, Fort Lauderdale, South Florida, whatever you want to call it. But a lot of stuff going on. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll let you guys know, obviously, what's going on. But right now, this is kind of what is going on. Look at it, look at it, look at this. I got this the other day from my friends at Market Flow Trader. Look at this thing. $100 bills, baby, $100 bills. Thought it was a pretty cool little piece of art for the house. I gotta figure out where to put it at, actually. Maybe, I don't know, still trying to figure it out. It kind of just stands on its own there, so. I don't know. On Saturday, I like to just kind of chill out and relax. The weekend, we worked hard. We put in the work all week long, basically. And now, we get to reap the reward. This is little Saturday. There's actually a wakeboarding event going on down the street from my house at Lake Ivanhoe. So, we're going to go check out the contest. It's the Parks Bonifay Double or Nothing. I used to actually film this type of stuff back in the day, but... They don't really film stuff like that anymore. Well, they do like live streams, but it's just not the same. We used to do like full on TV shows for this stuff, but now with social media, with Instagram and all that, it's all just instant. It's all out there and nobody wants to pay a premium for someone to film it. So I'm going to go home, take a little nap, a little nap skis, a little midday Saturday nap. Feeling the, feeling the nap vibe, take a shower, take a nap in the vlog. And then, like I said, tonight going to the uh, Orlando City soccer game. So, a fun-filled, fa uh, fun-filled, a fun-filled Saturday here in Orlando. Got a lot of stuff coming up, a lot of big moves, a lot of big things happening. And well, you know where to stay tuned. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, the like button. I don't know what you're waiting for. If you're still watching the video, thank you very much for watching the whole thing. If you are still watching the video, comment down below that uh you're still watching did you watch all the way to the end i'm interested to see how many people actually comment that they watch this video all the way till the end i'll talk to you guys later on